huge fan of the film. Uh, when you first talked to, to your wonderful director, did she give you any pinpoints as to the, the way she wanted the film to be shot, the colours and everything? Or did she give you like some homework to do about what she wanted to, to bring to the screen? Yeah, it was always meant to be like something that was more magical than the traditional like London brick grit drama set on an estate. So it was like all about colour and like otherworldly stuff, you know, that we were trying to bring it out of the norm of an estate film. Um, yeah. Am I right in thinking that maybe some of Sean Baker's work was a little bit uh, <laughs> had a little bit of an impact on the film? Because I, I couldn't I couldn't couldn't help but think in Florida Project is that one of the kind of cornerstones? Because that is very much an American version in some respects of what you were trying to put on screen. Yeah, definitely. I mean the colours and like the boldness and and uh, you know the, a big part of it for us was was making it from the kids' perspective. So like shooting shooting at their level, almost cutting the adults out sometimes, like really trying to. Yeah, tell a kid, four kids from their perspective, kind of thing. Yeah. What was it like shooting all these amazing actors? Because the two, the two young, the two young guys. I mean, just extraordinary performances. What was it like watching them work every day? It must have been extraordinary. Amazing. I mean, it was a real magical shoot. Like we, uh, yeah, it was a family vibe, and and the whole aim of it was to make those kids feel really comfortable, so that they could do that. They could be mad and themselves, you know. So we all became children. Super fun. Yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? That's always fun. Uh, whose whose idea was the where's the West Ham shirt come from? That was my only criticism. The West Ham shirt. Criticism. I will take it. I'll also uh, add to that. That is a criticism. Um, <laughs> and there's no, Charlie's, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it became like such an icon of the. As you can tell, while we're all wearing football shirts. Um, um, but an icon of the film. Was there a few lined up? Was there different sort of seasons lined up, or was that was there a specific I reason for that season? So they could get they could get signed off. Was one that doesn't sponsor them anymore. One that's gone. Yeah. They're completely dead in the water. I think. I think, it's, I think it's 95 that kid. So I think the only company that, that isn't isn't run up and running is the is Dagenham Motors. So then we had to use that one. <laughs> I don't know. I've just made that up, but Charlie might have a better uh, answer. Yeah, she might have a better answer. Arsenal shirt on though. Yeah, yeah, she's an Arsenal fan. Oh, what's the what's, why was the West Ham? What's the West Ham decision then? I actually don't know. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, you find out. I'll ask her. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask I her. wish you all the best. The Thank film's you. fantastic. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.